Welcome to the Tucson Tasty Show, the tastiest show in Tucson. I'm your host, Wesley Source, here with Pastor John McLean of Veteran Rescue Mission. Glad mm-hmm. to see you. How's mm-hmm. your hike been going? Um, it's been going great. Um, definitely connected with some people. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home and take a nap, but um, so far, so good. It's uh, what an incredible mission, and how can people like, we we can still get get you donations, right? Yeah, well, I mean, at this point, definitely we will we need donations not only to continue to hand out need items to the people, but we need donations to continue our mission. Like that's definitely the big thing now, and I'm and I'm more than us being out there trying to locate homeless veterans. I'm asking any veteran that can hear me or anybody that knows a veteran that can hear me, send them our directions five two zero three two nine nine one nine two. I can help you traverse just getting connected with your services, whether that's going to the VA, Mm -hmm. Tucson Vet Center, getting disability, whatever the the series of things is, I want to be your battle buddy. Pastor John McClain's here for you. He's definitely my wingman for sure. So uh, we do have some exciting news again starting November 19th. uh, We've moved to a full hour starting at 3 p.m. every Sunday. Uh, You asked, we listened, so we're giving you more of the show. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, we actually have a very special guest in our studio today. We're going to give a shout out really quick to all of the amazing people that make this this show possible. Kiki Rogers with Country Financial insurance Vera oral premium beef that's ve premium beef.com erc junction veteran rescue mission pitcher rocks cooling heating plumbing bella's gelato dirty cactus soap and mafia kitchen so uh today we have kiki rogers with Con- country financials in the studio helping us uh talk to uh this incredible man uh chef lindy of thunder bacon burger uh kiki it's always great to see you thank you for having me and tell us a little bit about uh country financial how can we get a hold of you and and what do you do with country financial i offer insurance for anything that matters to you if it's your home your auto life insurance um i can help you out with that mm-hmm. you can reach me at 520 520- Zero eight four eight five zero zero three, and that number again. Eight, uh, five two zero eight four eight five zero zero three. Perfect. And I know she saved me personally thirteen hundred dollars a year by switching my home and auto insurance over to Country Financial, which I was absolutely uh, just stunned by. Uh, mm-hmm. As a veteran, I had uh, a a very veteran. Um, plan plan <laughs> through without another bank it. without yeah. saying it and uh <laughs> and i was it was just shocked uh at uh how much money you were able to save yeah. us. we were able to save you and get you better coverage Absolutely. yeah and mm-hmm. same here i mean i don't i don't even really know how much you saved other than a whole bunch and again i'm a veteran so i had one of those, those special plans that only veterans are allowed to get and kiki still saved me substantially more than we're spending and, and believe you me my wife is a stickler so if she if, even if we would have been paying 50 cents more we wouldn't have done it but she saved us so much that my wife is like we're in we're in mm-hmm. so thank you kiki for that well, I, I love being able to help my veteran friends so thank you so as i yeah. said we have an amazing man who's been all over the culinary scene for a long time chef lindy of thunder bacon burger here today how you doing chef uh, I'm good. Yeah, and, uh, it's been quite the don't cut the Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has been quite the Wednesday, and I believe you and or you and me. You know, um, I, I am happy to be here, alive, healthy, and breathing. You know, <laughs> yes, yes. My uh, my doctor this morning was uh, <laughs> give me a uh, more direction on how to stay alive, healthy, and breathing. So. Uh, he's uh, like, let's <laughs> let's turn the name of your business to Thunder. Healthy burger. No, what is that? Let's go. It's <laughs> a, turkey. <laughs> it's uh, no, it's going to be thunder. You need some new knees, baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. So tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background. Uh, so I actually uh, I've, I've been cooking for well over 25 years. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Self taught, you know, started nice. uh, dishwasher all the way up to, you know, learned through. Uh, a few different chefs here in town. Mm. Um, no culinary school, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. just kind of, you know, I will. Uh, they'll be talking uh, proper terms, you know, and uh, I'm just like, what? What is that? Oh, I know how to do that. I just didn't know it was called that. Uh-huh. So, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I, I so. um, All right. Yeah. You know, through the years, uh, I've done uh, all kinds of different kinds of, I guess, cuisines, uh, working for people, and really just fell in love with. 
uh, cheeseburgers and mm. wanting to take it and do it better mm -hmm. and different. And um, out of that grew a, a, a deep dislike for franchises and, <laughs> yep. and uh, mm. you know, the quality of food uh, that comes from them. Mm. Fair and, enough. Uh, Interesting. It's just been it's been quite the ride, you know, with my first concept. And uh, now this one, this one is everything the other one should have been. Mm, okay. So Thunder Bacon is, you know, we're, it's, it's the bun I've been looking for for almost 20 years. Uh, Cafe Francois and, and I teamed up and absolutely uh, nailed it. And I love this bun. Okay. So, uh, it's, well, so it's, I got to try some uh, of your buns. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. fresh baked and, you know, down to the grind of the meat. And uh, I'm going to let you slide on that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, was, <laughs> I snuck one in. Yeah. Well, where is your restaurant? <laughs> How can someone there. come visit your restaurant or? So, um, actually, we are downtown. We mm -hmm. start mm -hmm. on 4th Avenue nice. and then uh, actually moved downtown. We partnered up with uh, Donut Bar, who unfortunately is uh, no longer uh, there. Mm. But mm -hmm. through that, we started uh, Thunder Bacon Donuts. Mm. So, Thunder Bacon Burger is at 33 North 6th Avenue. Okay. And we also now have Thunder Bacon Donuts. So, pretty much uh, fresh baked donuts uh, from us and also Cal's Bake Shop. Yummy. Who is uh, in there uh, doing all his stuff? He's mostly online right now until we mm. work some other things out, uh, mm -hmm. possibly some pop-ups in the in the morning for just him. Uh, oh, really cool! Because I don't like getting up that early. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm sure you, you can do that. Both, I'm yeah. opening at eleven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, but our donuts will be uh, available, you know, after eleven and through into the evening, uh, mm -hmm. late night on Friday and Saturday nights, um, and I. Like pushing the envelope, working on you know uh, a jalapeno vanilla cheesecake filling. Uh, just did a maple bacon cheesecake filling today. Mm. Uh, so like That's everything's. Uh, I just had a suggestion of a mac and cheese donut. I, mm. I, I I don't know how <laughs> I, I have to make that work. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't know how that's going well, it to work. I think I'm though. I'm still floored <laughs> over the idea. Um, that you took like almost one of the most common things in Americana culture and, you know, rubber stamped it and made your own is, you know, it'd be almost as if like, I'm going to make an egg, you know, my own unique style. So tell uh, outside of just the bun, like, what is it about your burgers that make them special, which I can't wait to have one. Cause if you're, if you're going over, you're, you're trying to make a burger special, which I love burgers. I'm Mr. American. I like to think, I bet that's, I bet they're really good. Well, it, it came down to this time really doing a burger that I've always loved to do, uh, or at least I should say style of burger. Mm -hmm. Um, there's all kinds of different kinds of burgers. You know, you can have like a steakhouse burger, you know, mm -hmm. you know, there's half pound, third pound, you know, there's uh, more like a, like a bar and grill kind of burger. Right. I'm most like, really what I'm passionate about are smash mm. burgers. I love smash burgers. Okay. All right. So, and can't just take a patty and smash it and mm. call it a smash burger. Smash burgers are, are thin. They have crispy right. edges. Right. You know, they're still juicy. You can't mm. just, you know, cook the crap out of them and just be like oh look mm -hmm. what i did mm -hmm. so um they're i i it just to me that's actually just i love that kind of burger so mm. that's why thunder bacon is a smash burger mm. okay uh concept yum so but it also came down to you know it's like we have you know all our sauces uh i make mm. so right. with nice. the, the exception of mustard Mm. So, <laughs> why not mustard? No, so, I'm kidding. I know how mustard's made. That's a terrifying thing. Not, a, not a topping I push or, you know, <laughs> for sure. So, but I have it for, you know, some of the kids that come in. So, but I knew that, like, the thunder sauce, I did not want a ketchup based mm. uh, sauce, things like that. So, I, okay. I worked, I worked mm. on the thunder sauce for nice. well over a year and a so half. What's your favorite item on your menu? Uh, ooh. My favorite thing isn't on the menu. <laughs> so, <laughs> or your favorite um, dish to cook then? So right now, um, since we moved to the concha buns from mm -hmm. uh, on the it's it's a burger called the WTF. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. It's got jalapenos and chipotle raspberry and peanut butter and Wednesday, bacon. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, no, that's it's, it's yeah, what's the yeah. filling? <laughs> 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 sure. <laughs> uh, and that one on the Contra Bun is uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying that one right now. So yeah. probably my most favorite is the Thunder Kush. I actually took that to Phoenix earlier mm. this year mm. and won a contest with it. That's so cool. it's uh, something that I created. Uh, I'm going to take a, a side swipe here. I created that, even though there's another place that might have it on the menu and say they created <laughs> oh. it. I actually created yeah. it. I took my creation to my new concept. So, oh, you know, okay. discuss and complain as you will. <laughs> <laughs> Do with that what you wish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that's, that's awesome. All right. So uh, do you have a favorite person to cook for? Uh, yeah, actually, um, my wife, because every time I'm like, how was that? She's like, it's, it's good. This is good. That's yes. it. Good. <laughs> Not like you know. Like, wow. You know, some people are like, "Hey, that was amazing. That was really good." So one day I'm gonna make something. She's gonna be like, "Hey, <laughs> that was really you know." I'm gonna get something other than like, "It's good." Yeah. <laughs> so. it sounds like my uh, father-in-law actually, because I blow something out of the water uh, as far as food goes, and he and uh, his the perfect response from him is, "It was okay." Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. And you could be dancing on the inside. Right. <laughs> I can yeah. see your eyes. Tell yeah. me it was delicious. So one day there's going to be that one thing that's just going to be like, just can't control it. Fair enough. I well, I'm Wesley so, Sorcerer. You have to call host. Us when that happens. Uh, your host of the Tucson Tasty Show will be right back um, with our special guest, and uh, that's Chef Lindy of Thunder Bacon Burger. Um, thank you to our sponsors, Kiki, uh, Kiki Rogers, Country Financial Insurance, Vero Premium Beef, ERC Junction, Veteran Rescue Mission, Bella's Gelato, Pitcher Rocks, Cooling, Heating, Plumbing, Dirty Cactus Soap, and Mafia Kitchen. And remember, please email me directly at the Tucson Tasty Show. Dot, er, at gmail.com. There it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and stay tasty, Tucson. We'll be right back. That's it. Welcome back to the Tucson Tasty Show. I'm your host, Wesley Source, with Pastor John McClain. Together, mm-hmm. we are the Tucson Tasty Show. Mm-hmm. Just like mustard and mayonnaise. I I'll don't be mustard. like mayonnaise. Oh, okay. Then I'll be mayonnaise. You, you do, do mustard. mayonnaise and ketchup, and then you yeah. guys are fancy. Sauce. No, we're mustard. <laughs> and, well, you got to put a little relish in there, and then uh, with that something else. Anyways, no, we're mustard <laughs> and mayonnaise. You keep going, and we'll catch up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. Well, seven. with seven <laughs> children, he is the master of the yeah, dad jokes. I have them. <laughs> well, it is a time once again for Tasty Bites with Pastor John, uh, the place to expand your culinary horizons. And, of course, uh, Tasty Bites is brought to you by uh, ERC Junction. Uh, that's ERCJunction.com. If you um, had employees uh, in 2020, 2021, uh, Sean uh, Smiley can take a look at your um, ERC cr- or your employee t- retention Thanks. credit and uh, see if you missed any, left any money on the table, mm-hmm. um, down to one person. Um, if you were employed or if you only employed yourself uh, during that time, he's willing to take a look at it and he doesn't charge a thing, uh, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah, uh, and people are making money. Like one of our money out our there. other um, mm-hmm. sponsors of Picture Rocks Cooling mm-hmm. Heating and Plumbing. ERC Junction, and, and I, I want to think they had maybe a staff of five or six that, that they went they they um, got mm-hmm. taken care of. Mm-hmm. And I, and don't quote me on this, but they made them tens of thousands of dollars. Yes. Like yes. There's, yep. There is money out there for employee retention credit. So if you had mm-hmm. employees in 2021 and 2022 and you haven't mm-hmm. spoke to somebody, you got money probably out there in the bank tens of thousands of dollars you ain't cashing out so i don't know I, i'd get it if i were you and i think mm-hmm. sean would say something like uh, this is the only time that uh when the government says uh we're we're from the government and we're here to help yeah that it's actually true right? yeah. they're just here to help i think that's don's business. line but yeah, oh, sean don's would say go. that too but yeah. yeah it's definitely more of a don <laughs> type of thing <laughs> we wish we missed them both uh yeah. two weeks in a row we're really disappointed but uh starting next week they're going to be in studio every week i was promised Mm. Uh, we'll see. I'll, just, uh, I'll, I'll, fill, I'll <laughs> fill in for them the best that I possibly can. Well, I like go. being here in the meantime. Yeah. And that is ERCJunction.com. And uh, we are here in studio with Chef Lindy of Thunder Bacon Burger, uh, mm. the fanciest uh, burger place in town, uh, in downtown, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Without a doubt. I mean, it, you you just peruse your, your Yelp page and some of the pictures that some of the people have out there. And uh, not only does, uh, does it just look 
incredibly tasty but um i mean it's a really cool niche that you got over there and a really cool shop so if anybody wants to come and find you they can find you at 33 north 6th avenue nice and you, and anytime after 11 a.m please <laughs> <laughs> and what's you guys' right. motto because it should be the fanciest burger in, in tucson if it's not uh, i don't know about fancy uh, <laughs> no. you know uh, we actually just did a menu expansion on okay. uh, Tuesday so nice uh, but uh, oh I can't say what I tell my, my <laughs> cooks <laughs> <laughs> try okay. to clean it up off air off air <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> uh, but you know uh, honestly I just uh, I feel like between you know uh, our bun and the meat and everything else we're probably one of the more uh, uh, scratch self you know self-involved you know and that's what i'm finding between I mean, two buns and uh you know mm. a lot of places in town so mm. I've, I've i'm definitely finding I, that i made it my mission to be like that on on this one the so. ingredients uh make everything mm. i mean mm. uh, the best places that i eat in town they're making everything from scratch mm. it's from <laughs> from not only okay. the pasta but you know you're getting the bun you're sourcing the buns yourself um, you're getting the meat. Uh, you're working with Vero possibly uh, to get some meat uh, on the table. No, uh, we'll like actually we'll quote you on that on air. You're working with. It's gonna <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you're, yeah, you're so possibly working. The, the sample, <laughs> uh, the sample I got from them uh, was amazing. So mm, yeah. uh, we've been, you know, dealing with a couple local butchers, mm -hmm. and this was. Uh, it's you know, I just didn't want any. Even though they're smash patties, I just didn't want any sort of just regular meat. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be yep. Well, good food good. creates good food. Well, their ground beef is even right. 21, uh, 21 day age, or day aged uh, ground beef and some premium. <laughs> some Angus, premium. Angus Chuck mm -hmm. brisket and um, short rib mix. Yep, 21 mm. day aged. Interesting. <laughs> Which me. is an incredible mixture that gives you the texture, the uh, the uh, flavor, and uh, everything else that goes into it, right? Right. And it's just I, I, I try not to be overly picky, but it's just down to even uh, where we're going to start shredding the lettuce by hand because mm. I wasn't getting it the size and the color and the shape that mm. I wanted mm. from mm. the company mm. I was ordering it from. So now I'm going to just start doing it myself. Mm. So Fair that's enough. why sauces everything. So. Mm. The only thing I'm not doing right now is fresh punching my fries because I'm overly picky about that. There's a lot of places in town that do fresh punch fries that I don't feel like hit the mark. So, Fair enough. You know, and so until like, you know, really a good program like that is, I don't have time yet. <laughs> Thunder Bacon Burger. The attention to detail is unmatched. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm the trying. attention to detail is thunderous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, you did bring us uh, some bites for uh, j uh, tasty bites with Pastor John. I did. Uh, trying out a new, uh, oh, a new little thing. Okay. This one uh, because it's going to be uh, the Tucson over. Tasty Show with uh, er, Coffee with Ron. Uh -huh. So with with John, right? Pastor John, yeah. yeah let's nice. See, let's see how... Er, tasty the, Bites with Pastor John brought to you by ERC <laughs> Junction. Go to well, ERCJunction.com. Well, this one slid into presentation mode on its own. Oh, my. <laughs> So I won't. Uh, I don't have gloves on. So, but this is our. That is our thunder wavo. So it's a uh, double egg, double cheese. Oh my gosh, an egg on double a smash patty favorite. on a concha bun. So it's a. Uh, oh, and there's chopped bacon on the top of the second patty. That sounds delightful. This one that did not slide. Interesting. I may have. May or may not have taken a right turn fast. So. Wow! <laughs> oh, check uh, out that. That is the Thunder Kush. The Thunder Kush, the thunder -kush. The thunder -kush. and is, it has a logo on the yes, bun. Yes, we, we brand it's all our buns. Trade, yes. Trade me. So. I want that one. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, I think since you guys traded and we took out the utensils, but I think you two just need to take your hands and dig into those burgers. I, I, uh, I, I will. Yeah. So the thunder yeah. cushion. So I'm, I'm going to cut you off a piece of mine. You, you're going to yeah, give yeah, me a bite? Yeah, Great. Give me a piece of mine. I yeah, appreciate the, the that, but is a you got to eat that the right way. Too. We Go do on. fire roasted green chilies. Fine fire roasted green chilies. Oh, my. Uh, there's uh, smoked blue cheese, and then I make oh, a chipotle raspberry preserve and chopped bacon. Uh, double smash patty. Stop. That's incredible. So, what is your favorite burger? Uh, oh, wait, we talked about this, didn't we? Mm. What's your favorite burger on your menu? On my menu right now is the WTF. It's always, I mean, right. it's always going to be the Kush. So, I love the Kush. So, but the classic, um, 
you know, if I'm going to really get down to it. John's uh, got it in his hands. He's going for the bite. Going for the bite. He's going in. Uh, he's getting a large bite. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's burger everywhere. Mm. It's got a little sweet mm. to it, but a, a warmth mm. and kick that's not too spicy, but mm. very flavorful. Yeah, mm. Thank you. He can't talk yet. Uh, <laughs> we'll give him a second here. Mm. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever reacted like this with mm-hmm. one of John's tasty bites. So, that, yeah. Uh, hopefully, that this gives you what your wife doesn't at this point in regards <laughs> to the the gratification. I'm but, gonna um, have to make sure she doesn't. <laughs> 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 I mean that I'm in the most platonic way possible. But um, yeah, I mean mm. that is that is savory. That is you. I mean. You really don't know what to expect until it's too late, and then the goodness just grabs you, and then your soul is its. So, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'll be able to eat any other burger from any other place ever again. Thank you. You ruined it for me. <laughs> yeah. That was good. I mean, the, the bun was, it's like it melts in your mouth. The, the, the accoutrement of flavors, it was kind of almost like a fiesta of flavor in my mouth. I really can't even put my finger on it. Like Kiki was saying, like, there's a... There's a little hint of sweetness to it among the the salty and savory, but there's like 20 different flavors. I feel like I could point out. There's a <laughs> there's a version a customer comes in again, so I make a green chorizo patty in house, and uh, he'll switch out the oh my boy. regular Angus mm. uh, for the green chorizo. Okay, and, and that's that, going to add it, a lot more heat to it then, yeah, right? It takes, yeah, it takes that up. Like, what is wow. a green a chorizo? Please describe. So like, green chorizo is, I mean, it's the same as like a, a red chorizo. It's just different chilies and everything. So it actually mm. has a green, it looks green. So it is mm. a traditional pork green chorizo that I mix with our um, with our beef. And then I turn oh, it into a burger. Sounds patty. great. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you thinking? Wes is digging into that Wervo burger. Yeah, the Thunder Wavel. Oh, Thunder Wavel? Yeah. I said that wrong. How are you thinking there? Say bag. I love your Wavels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wavels is eggs. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the non Tucson one here. It's, that means it's eggs. Just, it right? just means eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah this eggs. Yeah. Nothing like, more. But uh, the, the eggs are actually cooked really well. Um, and, you know, that's uh, uh, that's really important to me. Like that's the one thing that if I go to a, a breakfast place and the eggs are screwed up, I'm done. I'm just out. Well, and I like I I have want things to be kind of symmetrical. You know, I'm I'm all for you know just a, a crazy burger, but for some reason I I fell in love with egg rings. Mm. I we just we cook mm. our eggs fresh in egg rings, mm-hmm. so they're nice and circular and <laughs> yeah. But the yolk I like the that. yolk is soft. Um, the the whites are done all the way through. They're not runny. It's cooked evenly. Right. And you'd be surprised. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't be surprised how many times I go someplace and I have one egg that's cooked perfectly and the other one's slimy. I mean, I just I can't do the slimy whites. It's gross. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you agree with me or if I'm crazy. Uh, I understand it, but I do like a, a runny egg. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today on or for the Tucson Tasty Show. We'll be or we'll see you next week um, from three to five or three to five, two hours, um, three to four. We're going to be done at four, and uh, we'll have Chef Mike Elefante of Mama Luisa's and Guido Q. Uh, for the first time, uh, we'll be on there for the full hour. Uh, the first ha- or the second half of the show will be Chef David of Augustine kitchen uh thank you to our special guests and sponsors chef lindy uh kiki rogers of country financial insurance vero premium beef veteran rescue mission pitcher rocks cooling heating plumbing dirty cactus soap erc junction bella's gelato mafia kitchen i'm your host and stay tasty tucson